How are you doing guys? Welcome back to my cooking channel guys. This is Chef Carlton here from the Just Good Cooking Network. I'm asking you to please go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you won't miss my notifications. Um, today I'm walking you guys through a special recipe guys. So stick around guys and let's have fun while we do this one. Alright guys, welcome back to another video guys. Today I'm going to be doing some cornbread from scratch. As you can see, I have nothing portioned yet. I'm gonna need a teaspoon, measuring cup, a sieve, a bowl, some cornmeal, some sugar, some flour. I added some honey to this one. I got some salt, the baking powder, the milk. I'm using carnation milk for this one, guys. Some oil, you could use butter also. And I got an egg. So I'm gonna portion everything off camera and come back when I'm ready. Reheat your oven to 400 degrees. All right, well, that was quick. Well, here we are. We've got all our dry ingredients and all our wet. So the first step to do right now is to combine all our dry ingredients. All right, so the salt and the sugar is a bit coarse. So I'm gonna start with those. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and sift these. And when you sift in, once you start getting the lumps, don't make sense to stay here and beat the strainer and see if them shoot. All right, you could just go ahead and discard this. All right, let's store our baking powder. Our flour together. See, what is it we have? So this is why you do your sifting, guys. You don't want anything like this in your mixture. And last but not least, our cornmeal. All right, all you want is refined stuff. You don't want none of these. You don't want anything like that, all right? this point, I'm going to go ahead and mix everybody together, incorporate these really quick. And you should have your oven preheat to 400 and your baking to 90 degrees. I'm going to make like a little, a little hole in the center. All right. And that's where I'm going to combine my egg. Also, I'm gonna add my milk. The recipe is calling for a cup, but I always keep a little bit back in case I want to do like a glaze. And then this is my twist to this recipe, guys. I'm adding some honey, some raw honey. All right. Not a lot. I'm gonna add some sugar in there. Not trying to make it too sweet now. Then, we're going to get a nice wooden spoon and we're just going to incorporate that mixture. And you want to mix this until everybody's fully incorporated and there's little to no lumps. A little lump is fine, you just don't want a lot. So, let's see you get like that. We're getting there, guys. We're gonna bake this for not long, like 20 to 30 minutes stops. And like a nice little simple cornbread. This is something you could have with, you know, a cup of chili. Yeah, you know, something you could have like, you know, with a cup of tea for some people. Yeah, pretty simple, guys. All right, now let's get over the container to add our mixture to it. All right, here's the container, guys, full of grease, well greased up and ready. And I would always recommend greasing this ahead of time, just like for you in the oven ahead of time, so you're not ready and then have to leave too. All right, so I'm gonna get our mixture in. This is gonna be one family size cornbread. You could always double the recipe, of course, to make more. A bigger batch. Oh, that's on me. My oven is ready. So, perfect timing. 
and that's that's one thing that you will get the hang of. Either you preheat it ahead of time, and when it's ready, it's ready, or you know you put time what you're doing. If you know how long your oven takes to preheat, so by the time you're ready for your mixture, your oven should be ready. So we're gonna go ahead and place this in. Remember, 30 to 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes stops. You won't need much longer than that. All right. See you guys in that time for you. All right, here you go, guys. Hot, fresh out of the oven. Now we're gonna go and get a fork and do the famous fork test. And once your fork goes through, and up without no resistance, you know you're ready. Sorry, probably didn't see that. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let it cool down a little bit, not a lot. And you see the importance of, bake, of greasing your baking tin now so it doesn't stick to the sides. Now you have a nice, ready to eat cornbread. But we're gonna let this cool a little bit. And I'm gonna stress a little bit because you actually want this to be eaten hot. All right, so you're just gonna let it cool a little bit so you don't burn yourself handling it with a pan. Or if you got oven mitts, go ahead and transfer it to a cotton board or wherever you're gonna cut it on. Please don't cut it in the tin. I see a lot of people do that. You mess your tin up when you do that. So we're gonna transfer this to a cutting board and cut them up. All right, here you go, guys. And shame on me for not having a bread knife. <laughs> I'm actually gonna use my chef knife to cut into this cornbread. And if you guys have cornbread before or enjoy making cornbread, you guys could see that this one is actually nice and perfect. That's all I like my cornbread, guys. So subscribe guys as always stay tuned remember once again guys this kitchen is seasoned with love and if here's my delicious cornbread i already have a slice out of it but this is the end result guys beautiful